One of the problems created by adding behaviours like the rollover effect is that of course that hover isn't working on a mobile device and uh, sometimes it's not even appropriate on a tablet. So for a smaller device I'm going to actually create a new behavior where that's not visible, that whole advertisement. Because when we look at the smaller view and we scroll down you see the advertisement could be out of view when you're looking at uh, the, the relevant part that has the rollover effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that invisible on the smaller view. So to do that, I'm just going to go to the styles panel and I'm going to create a new style and it's so that when it gets down to that small, the ad will disappear. So with that selected, I'm going to well, I click on content section table, but I'm actually going to create a new selector. I'm going to get rid of that text there. I'm going to make a space and then I'm going to add a new class called add underscore oops, hide. I think that's it. Yep. Okay, so with that particular one selected, and remember we're in this particular mode, I'm just going to add one style and it's going to be display none, and that will have the effect of making it disappear. Okay, so we've created a style in which it makes the display disappear. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply that style to the correct cell of this table. In this particular design we're using, the layout is actually presented in table form. So I'm going to select the table cell and I'm going to, I'm in live mode, remember, I'm going to select add and I'm going to type dot add underscore hide And now if we preview this in the smaller mode, it's still there, but if we save our style and now we refresh the image, I'll just go back, it should disappear. No, it's still there. So what's going wrong? Well, if we look at the style, we've created the style to make it hide. Yeah, the display is zero. Have we selected the correct cell? Okay, so I'll select the cell. I'm in live mode here. I clicked on the add hide. So in theory, this should just disappear. So what I need to look at now is if the style definition is correct and it looks correct here so let's test it again this time in the browser so i'm going to save the changes and test in the browser so we'll come smaller we'll reduce the size of the window and we scroll down we can see that it's actually disappeared. So the effect is well worth testing in your browser because it's working and the ad image is disappearing and then appearing again about 800 pixels, 810 pixels wide.